Good morning, boys and girls. Today, Sophia and I, and I is in my garden, and oh, go away! Back, 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 doggy, back, doggy. He got excited. So, um, <clears throat> today, Sophia and I, and I is in the garden. As you can see, my garden does not look very. Does it look like it's flourishing? Is it? Well. That's because today we're going to talk about patience. And what does the Bible tell us about patience? Well, there's a lot of different verses, but we are going to look at Romans 12.12. 12. And what Romans 12.12 12 says is, <clears throat> Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation and be constant in prayer rejoice in hope be patient in tribulation be constant in prayer okay we're going to come back to that one right now I want to show you a little bit about patience with my strawberry plant here as you can see my strawberry plant, I'm going to lift it up for you. It's seen better days, right? And I know that nice looking strawberries probably won't come from a plant that looks like this. So I know I have to do my part in taking care of this plant. So, Sophia Nai Nai has some gloves and I'm going to wear this glove so I don't get dirty fingers because I don't want dirt under my nails <laughs> and I have these scissors for pruning now I have a question for you once I finish my watering and my pruning and adding some of the fertilizer to make sure my strawberries are nice and healthy fed and organic am i going to get the strawberries right away probably not right i'm i might have to wait a couple of days weeks i'm not sure but i know if i go through the process am diligent in watering diligent in taking care of my strawberry plant that eventually those strawberries will come and when they come they will be extra delicious because of all the hard work i put into it and because of the special ingredient do you know what that is yes patience so what do i have to do well i know that these dead leaves here i need to snip snip it off and that's part of pruning you're going to take off the bad parts right so i know that i have to take some time in taking care of my plant i also did some research on how to take care of plants, right? I have to put in the work and I have to put in the time. I can't just go bippity boppity boo and then my strawberries appear. That's silly, right? So after I'm done pruning, I have some of my water, but I'm going to add some of this fertilizer on it. Then I'm going to water it. And you know, sometimes things don't go my way. Sophia Nai Nai cannot control the weather. I can't control if squirrels or, or perhaps that dangerous looking thing over there. Might eat it. But it's okay. Because what? 
remember in our Bible verse, it says to be patient in tribulation. Tribulation means in times of trouble, in unexpected events, right? So in those times, I need not to worry. Now, of course, I could definitely um, pray for my strawberry plants, but in more serious times, in my, if I'm going through tribulation in times of trouble, I know that when I'm constant in prayer and that when I rely on the Lord, depend on Him, only blessings will come. So even though this is a little bit of hard work where I need to fix the strawberries, cut and prune, add my fertilizer. I'm probably going to use the shovel because I'm going to put it in my raised bed, but I'm enjoying the process of it. So children, in whatever you do, patience is such an important virtue and it's one of the characteristics of the fruit of the spirit, such a good and important one because in this time of now, 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 it's hard to wait. So let's enjoy the process of waiting. So remember that whether it's training through a sporting event or a quiz or your piano or the results of anything, cooking, Whatever it is, kids, know that with diligence and you do your part and be responsible, that's all God is asking you to do. The rest, you can leave it up to Him. So enjoy the process. Be constant in prayer. Depend on the Lord and you will receive the blessing surely. And let me leave you with this before I conclude. Patience allows us to practically and effectively serve others while also teaching us to depend and trust in the Lord. Isn't that wonderful? So, oh, I'm going to show you something real quick. If you look closely right here, there's a little strawberry coming out and I'm going to show you this for my future planters. You see these little flowers? You see that it's green right here? This will eventually bud into a flower and it will grow strawberries. Now you guys are little strawberry professionals. I expect you to grow some and send some to Sophia Nine. So until next time, sweet peas, God bless you, Jesus loves you, and we will be talking about kindness and goodness. Have a marvelous day.